7.30 TGIF. It is a gorgeous start and a hot start as well. Russ the Kate coming up with a look at your weekend weather forecast uh, in just a couple of moments. Plus, Thor Diakow with your Friday morning commute details as well. First, police are investigating more gun violence in Metro Vancouver, and once again, it has happened in Surrey. Police were called to 123A Street and Iona Place just after midnight after shots were heard in the area. Two men have been taken to hospital with injuries. Reportedly, one person is in custody and police are searching for more suspects. RCMP say at this point it's unknown if this incident is related to the recent gun violence in Surrey. Well, things are about to heat up across much of B.C. Meteorologist Russ LeCade says temperatures are about to soar into record-breaking territory. The mercury is expected to hit the low 30s on the south coast and will approach 40 degrees in parts of the interior over the next couple of days. Vancouver has set up several temporary water stations across the city. People are being urged to take precautions against heat illnesses by finding shade or going to places with air conditioning. Doctors say the young and elderly and those with chronic illnesses are most at risk. That means increasing your awareness, increasing how much you drink, and if you exercise outside a lot, consider reducing the activity when it's really hot. Now, the hot and dry conditions have resulted in a campfire ban going into effect Saturday at noon for most parts of the south coast. Several municipalities have their own bans that have kicked in sooner. Souk's campfire ban takes effect as of noon today. Fireworks are banned in West Vancouver as well as Maple Ridge. Despite repeated warnings, calls of dogs being left in hot cars have remained steady for the BCSPCA. In fact, there have been hundreds of reports that have come in to police and animal control agencies, all facing the same situation. Several awareness campaigns also don't appear to have made much of a difference. An animal can die from heat stroke in less than 20 minutes. If you see an animal in distress, your best bet is to call 911. Dog owners in this heat should avoid taking your dog out with you. You know, if you, you run to the store, uh, you just drive, and you're like, oh, I'm just going to run in for a minute. Uh, let me bring the dog. Uh, just don't. Do your dog a favor and leave them at home. This heat, like, I'm just sweating standing here. You can see our dogs, they're, they're overheating just, just today with the heat. Uh, so I would do the, the best thing for your dogs and leave them at home. A large fire kept crews busy in Surrey yesterday afternoon. Thick black smoke began billowing from the Masonville Plastics Building in Cloverdale at around 1.30, and the smoke could be seen from right across the lower mainland. The company is believed to be a styrofoam producer. There was minimal damage caused to the building, and no one was injured. Upon arrival, our crews uh, found heavy black smoke and fire impinging on the silos on the exterior of the building. Uh, the fire uh, extended to the uh, outside of the building in which it got into the soffit area. We uh, went with the defensive attack to, uh, for safety reasons. Crews are investigating a two-vehicle crash that sent a taxi into an apartment building at Camby Street in West 14th Avenue in Vancouver. Residents of the corner unit were home at the time, and it appears as though there's significant damage to the suite. Luckily, there are no reports of any serious injuries. Lululemon is recalling almost 320,000 women's tops, with almost 60% of them being sold in Canada. Health Canada received five reports of incidents and injuries from the affected tops, which have an elastic string with a hard metal or plastic tip in the neck area. The elastic draw cords can snap back and injure the wearer's face or eyes. The U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission says seven people have reported injuries. The women's tops were sold between January of 2008 and December of 2014. More than 4,000 customer service and sales agents at Air Canada have ratified a new five-year contract. Specific details of the deal have not yet been released, but Air Canada called it a win-win for both sides when the tentative contract was reached almost two weeks ago. Unifor says the agreement includes a significant hourly wage increase for those at the lower end of the salary grid. Well, the story of a homeless man in Langford on Vancouver Island who returned more than $2,000 he discovered on the street continues to gain a lot of attention. There's also a new twist in this tale of generosity. After the money was returned to its rightful owner, a fundraising campaign was started for the man who was living on the street. More than $5,000 was raised, but after the homeless man was tracked down, he didn't want the cash. 
shocking but not surprising, his, uh, his answer to me was, I don't want that money. That money should be donated to Our Place Society, to food programs for people who need it more than I do. I was a little speechless at first. Uh, it was overwhelming to me as well. The man brought a note to officers stating he did not want the money, but he'd like to get a job instead. A Facebook page is now working to see if someone has work for an honest man with a very good heart. Several companies have also now come forward. Canada and England have one more day of rest before their quarterfinal matchup at BC Place on Saturday, and the excitement for this one is building. Tickets are hot, they're going crazy, it's going through the roof. You're looking probably anywhere from $135 to as much as $400 right now. The game is officially sold out, but tickets are available through brokers and resellers. The buzz in the city of Vancouver has increased with Canada advancing to the quarterfinals. British pubs say it is exactly what they had hoped for. We're actually already half, halfway booked for the, for the match. Uh, we have a lot of people coming in for the pregame and also just to come and watch on the game on the big screens and all the flat screen TVs we have here. So Canada and England, they will take to the uh, pitch at BC Place tomorrow.